right, so we are assuming that you are able to finish the starter activities, the seven of them. And remember, here we are back at our main page. If you ever need to get back to the main page, if you just click on the Tinkercad logo in this top left corner, it always takes you back there. And then we're going to go back. We're still learning, so we're still on the Learn tab. So click there. It automatically, I think it just goes to starters no matter what. We want lessons. Eventually, we will be moving on to projects, but right now we're still learning. So we're going to go into lessons. And here it is. It shows us four of these. Uh, but as before, I want you to click on see all lessons. Now, here's the problem is that uh, they are not in any particular order. And there's a lot of them. Let's see. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times four, 24, and four. so 28 of them. All right. And I want you to do five specific ones. Uh, it turns out they happen to be, I'm pretty sure, these ones down at the bottom here, or at least some of these ones down at the bottom here. Uh, so super important that you click on the lesson two, um, and you see you're going to do learning the moves, number one, two, camera controls, three, creating holes, four, scale, copy, and paste, and five, die, die meaning a single dice. Dice are plural. That is a die on the work plane. I don't expect anybody to uh, pass away on the work plane. But those are the five activities. Make sure you're doing the right ones because if you don't, you're going to get messed up. I tried to do these from easiest to more difficult so that as you start, make sure you're on the proper uh, activities. Once again, when you first log in, you don't even see any of those guys. You're going to have to log down here and go, oh, okay, there's the first one. And they don't have numbers on them down here, unfortunately. All they have is the name. Okay, learning the moves and camera controls. Uh, you would end up, at least in this first time, skipping, I think, this one to go to this one because there's five of them there. Anyway, make sure you follow directions. Make sure you know what you're supposed to do and do only those things. And that will be lesson two. Lesson three, you'll complete a few more of these activities, uh, maybe even lesson four. But pretty soon you'll be making your own uh, uh, Tinkercad projects from scratch. But first, we want to make sure you have all the skills and tools you need to be able to make an awesome 3D printed project. Okay, so follow these instructions and enjoy. <laughs>